This is Africa. In the vast realm of music and art history, there exists a luminary who defies categorization and embraces the diverse tapestry of musical expression. Her name resonates not just as a label, but as an embodiment of creativity. Estelle Fanta Soiree, a British singer and actress, whose journey through genres mirrors the boundless nature of her talent. Born on this day, January 18th, 1980, Estelle has carved her path with a unique blend of R&B, soul, reggae, grime, hip hop, and dance, leaving an indelible mark on the global music landscape. Estelle's musical odyssey began in the vibrant streets of Hammersmith, London, where the echoes of reggae, soul, and hip hop intertwined to shape her artistic soul, raised in a household where secular melodies were replaced by the cadence of American gospel and West African tunes. Estelle's early exposure was a harmonious collision of cultures in her formative years, she delved into her parents' reggae collection and her aunt's soul records, gradually finding her rhythm in the world of hip hop. As she danced on the precipice of her 20s, Estelle decided to turn her melodic passion into a career. Before the stage embraced her, she adorned the heart of a nanny, an interlude that merely foreshadowed the crescendo of her musical journey. The tale of Estelle's accent is woven with the threads of determination and the touch of serendipity. Her debut notes resonated in London's iconic hip hop emporium, Deal Real, where encouragement from colleagues nudged her toward the microphone. London's clubs became her canvas and collaborations with luminaries like Manuva and Rodney P added hues to her evolving melody. The turning point manifested in the streets of Los Angeles where a chance encounter with Kanye West opened the door to collaboration and mentorship. John Legend another luminary in the making, lent his prowess to produce two tracks on Estelle's debut album, The 18th Day, released in 2004. The album, adorned with the breakout track, 1980, etched her name in the UK singles chart at number 14 and bestowed upon her the Mobile Award for Best Newcomer. Estelle's symphony continued to crescendo with the release of Shine in 2008. This opus, a collaboration with the likes of Kanye West, Swiss Beats, and Wycliffe Jean, transcended borders, earning her international acclaim. However, it was the chat topping American Boy, a collaboration with Kanye West, that propelled her to stratospheric heights. The single reached number one in the UK and secured a Grammy Award for Best Rap Song Collaboration, imprinting her name in the annals of musical history. As the world danced to the rhythm of American Boy, Estelle's influence spread like wildfire. Her unique fusion of hip hop, R&B, reggae, and soul became a signature sound celebrated by fans and critics alike. Shine sold enough copies to earn a gold certification from the British phonographic industry. And Estelle found herself in the esteemed company of nominees for the Mercury Music Prize. Estelle's journey 
did not rest on past laurels. Instead, it evolved with the release of a third album, All of Me. This chapter illuminated by the lead single, Freak, featuring Cardinal Offsell, continued her exploration of musical boundaries. The album, a testament to her versatility, saw collaborations with David Goethe, Nas, and John Legend. Despite the underperformance of singles, Freak and Fall in Love, Estelle's commitment to her craft remained unwavering. Her artistic resilience found expression on various platforms, from the fashion runways of Naomi Campbell's fashion for relief to collaborations with artists like Gucci, Mane, and Reflection Eternal. Estelle's narrative unfolded on her terms with the launch of New London Records in 2013, marking a paradigm shift in her musical autonomy. As the voice behind Garnet in the animated series, Steven Universe, she expanded her artistic repertoire, embodying characters with the same vibrancy found in her music. In 2014, her fourth album, True Romance, added new verses to her sonic tale. The singles, Make Her Say, Beat It Up, and Conqueror, showcased her dynamic range and the album after delays emerged as a testament to her enduring spirit the stage extended beyond music with guest appearances on the hit tv show empire and her role as the grand marshal of howard university homecoming estelle's journey marked by constant reinvention took a reggae infused turn with the announcement of her full-length reggae album, Lovers Rock, in 2017. The album released in 2018 unveiled yet another facet of her artistic kaleidoscope, cementing her status as a genre-defying virtuoso. Beyond the rhythmic realms, Estelle's presence graced the screen as Linda in Netflix's Fatal Affair, showcasing her acting prowess. Her show, the Estelle Show on Apple Music became a sonic haven for enthusiasts, transcending 500 episodes as of October 2020. Estelle's artistry, a harmonious fusion of rap, songwriting, and acting, garnered praise from maestros like John Legend and Roots Maneuver. Her influences spanning Todd Rundgren, Lauren Hill, Kanye West, Nas, Jill Scott and Jay-Z reflect the eclectic nature of her musical palette. In a league with iconic British sirens like Amy Winehouse and Adele, Estelle's journey embodies the British musical invasion, transcending boundaries and winning a Grammy as one of the first black British artists. Her legacy resonates, not just in awards and chart successes, but in the hearts of those who find solace, inspiration, and excitement in the harmonies she weaves. Estelle Fanta Soiree, an artist beyond labels, continues to compose the soundtrack of her journey, a symphony of eclectic brilliance that reverberates through the corridors of musical history. <laughs>